In this video we are going to learn about what is the use of component functions available with a data class. We can access individual properties of the data class using the component functions like component1, component2, etc. I will show you how to use the component functions with an example. So in this example we have a data class called product. The primary constructor contains two parameters, name and price. Now from the main function, I am going to create some object for that class. Now create another product. Now I am going to access the object properties using component functions. If there are n properties are available for a data class object, then there is n component functions are available for access that properties. So now I am going to access the object properties using component functions. Now uh, I am going to open the first product. This is product 1. First print the name of the product. So p1 dot access the first component function. So you can use the method component1. This will give you the first component, first property of the object that is the name. Now print the price of the product. So p1 dot now access the second component function component 2 that will return the price of the first product. Now print the properties of the second object it is product 2 and object is p2 now this is p2 dot component 2. Now we can check the program output. Here is the product 1 name, price. Here is product 2 name and price. So this is how we use component functions available with the data class. If there are n properties for a data class objects, then there are n component functions are available for accessing these property values.